if you talk to any security officer, uh, like an IT security type in Silicon Valley, um, intelligence agencies are constantly trying to infiltrate like the Twitters of the world and the Facebooks of the world, because, um, you know, if you look at the green revolution as an example uh, that ha- you know, happened in the Middle East, which were, there was one country that was notice- noticeably completely immune to it. Which country was that? Saudi Arabia. Okay. And the one thing that this, what they did in Saudi Arabia is that w- there was um, an issue with Bahrain. Um, so I think Saudis sent troops there, but there was a, you know, there's a, an opposition that's fueled by the Iranians, right? The Shia contingent um, in Iran, a small, small group. And there was a kind of an opposition, opposition leader. And the way that the, the Saudis were able to completely shut down that green revolution was by leveraging social media and Twitter to cast the opposition as an Iranian proxy. And then all of a sudden, all the Sunnis, the Wahhabists instantly descended in an attack on you know, the Shia and no, no green revolution in Saudi Arabia. No, it's, it's Who was, very, it was parallel to the, uh, the, what they used to call, they called the cassette revolution, which was how, uh, actually how uh, in Iran, Ayatollah Khomeini, who was in exile, how his message actually got out. He was recorded on cassettes. And the thousands of those cassettes were sprinkled around the country. Uh, and the, that's how they fueled the Iranian revolution in 79, which is why it's called the cassette revolution. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. Additionally, if you have any feedback, please put something in the comments below. And lastly, if you want to watch the full episode of this clip, you can find it above. Thanks again for watching.